instance, up, up here in Cleveland, our portfolio, uh, on average, you know, some months are going to be better than others, but on average, it, it looks like Holton Wise, we're probably evicting approximately 10 people a month. And right now, uh, end of April, we are seeing, I had to make sure it was April. I had to count on my fingers there. <laughs> we are, I'm, I'm sitting at home. It's hard. I don't even know what day it is right now. Is it Tuesday? Is it Thursday? I don't know. You know, this is crazy being out of the office. But right now, end of April, we're, we're, we're probably about, you know, double. Uh, it's looking like double. We're going to evict probably, well, we're not going to evict anybody today, but, you know, we're, we're on the same page as you. We're filing uh, so we don't get pushed to the back of the line. But it looks like we're going to end up with 20 folks that uh, can't make payment uh, as opposed to our normal 10. So just right around double is what we're seeing. What are, what are you guys seeing? I know some people are thinking the, the wheels are going to fall off and, you know, they're going to see 10 times the amount of non-payment. What are you guys seeing in your portfolio? As far as the evictions and what we're seeing as far as tenants not paying rent, surprisingly, our numbers are lower. We're actually getting rent in the door. I think that's due to the fact that we have been communicating with tenants from day one. Um, it, sometimes a tenant will feel like I have no option. Either I pay my full rent or I pay nothing. We're giving them that middle ground to say, hey, can you pay half? Can, you, can we waive some late fees? Can we work with you? When, when's your payday? So we're kind of becoming a partner right now with them and working some things out. Um, just yesterday, I've had a tenant that said, I'm moving out at the end of the month because I lost my job. I called her, hey, tell me what's going on. Have you filed for unemployment? Do you know that you have these resources? She signed another year's lease. She got her rent caught up. And we're, I think that individuals are just nervous. They don't know what to do. So if you can lead them to kind of understanding their options, then you're going to get that rent in the door. As landlords, you know what I see, what we typically like to do and what is the most efficient way to run our businesses as we, we usually have like, a, you know, our, our rules are set in stone and we have a zero tolerance policy for non-payment of rent. But this is, this is just completely unprecedented, uh, mm -hmm. unprecedented times, you know, I mean, it's just totally different. What was the conversation like between you and the, the rest of the ownership group of your company to decide, like, what, when did you guys decide to make the shift of, hey, you know, everything's black and white. So we have to adapt to this new situation and we have to try to become more of that partner with the tenants. Like how'd that conversation come about? Right. So, and there was a conversation and we did have a meeting because from my um, position as director of compliance, my first thought was absolutely not. We go by the book and we have to, you know, do everything exactly as we have. And then we started kind of thinking about that. We started looking at, okay, what are we really trying to accomplish um, as a company and as a part of the community? And what we've done is that we looked at all of our um, leases, our guidelines. Whatever you do, you have to do it across the board. So that's my only advice as far as compliance. If you say that we're going to waive rents or waive late fees, excuse me, then you waive late fees for everyone in that situation.